Hello, global family. So nice to meet you at Global Peace by 2027. Uh, this global pray chain, we pray for urgent peace in Eastern Europe as we pray for all 8 billion plus people on the earth for their salvation, blessing, healing, prosperity, and peace. As we pray for peace, we mobilize seven world to help uh, um, all human beings uh, to live in peace. And uh, additionally, for this meeting, we invite uh, scientists to came with the researchers how to build peace by 2027. And uh, also, we invite uh, uh, politicians uh, and people from all ways of life could say a word and vision for global peace by 2027. Uh, you may find more about our meeting below the video in the description. And above, uh, please uh, turn on suggestion playlist. And, uh, you could uh, listen God's words and our prayers. 24 per hour, sanctify your place. And uh, subscribe to our channel and let's go with the very powerful Messiah second coming uh, inspirational word for today. Let's take a moment uh, now to think about the way in which person can enjoy eternal life. If we as individuals wish to be respected in this world, we cannot uh, simply praise ourselves to earn respect. We need to sacrifice. If, uh, for instance, you have 10 friends and you have uh, served those uh, 10 friends for a long time, you will become the central figure among them. Not only that, uh, their relative and friends will want to unite with you. In the contrast, uh, let's say there is a person who tells uh, his 10 friends, you need to live for my sake, live for my sake. Um, those friends break away from that person, in short, that person will be left alone and in the end will have no place to go. We need to realize that this is the point that uh, distinguishes between good and evil in society. Let us consider a nation's patriots. And when uh, you think about the United States, you sure respect like, people like uh, President Lincoln and President Kennedy. Why do you respect them? You die for the United States. Among the presidents of the United States, there are those who died miserable deaths uh, for the nation. The more they sacrifice patriots and the higher is their position as president. The more a person sacrifices out of love for the nation, even at the risk of his or her life, the more the person is revered. Uh, those uh, who suffer miserable through sacrifice are considered even greater. Even um, though they are miserable at the time, uh, their misery is only for a moment. And uh, as history goes on, that per person impacts in the world, brought them in scope. Okay, this uh, was quotes for today. Let's go with our global prayer chain and uh, we invite everybody to say their word for Global Peace by 2027 and invite uh, our brother Tinku. He usually has a good research for, for peace. Tinku, welcome. Can you speak uh, now? Okay, and welcome to all members of Global Peace 2027. And uh, considering we are talking about love or true loves. Today's uh, my topics and uh, <clears throat> we can talk about Okay. Love is the sense uh, qual qualities like gender, ethnicity, and nationality tend to define us more than being human. So what happens when we try to identify with all of humanities? So when was the last time you thought about the fact that uh, you are a member of the human species? For most of us, this aspect of our identity is not front and uh, central and more relevant are things like gender, nationality, religion, political party, a sports team, habilitation, and all of our other group membership, large and small. You know, not only do we stake our identity and often also our sense of self-worth in these groups, but we tend to more helpful towards those who belonging them, uh, often at expense of those who don't, do not. A significant minority of people, however, seem less concerned with group distinctions. Yeah, Stephen Asma recently argued in the New York Times op opinion natal blog, these are small groups reality are both natural and inevitable given our limited emotional and physical resources. 
So what while it may be true that we cannot be everywhere at once or love everyone equal, many forms of human connection are more like muscles to be extended than pools to be drained. For significant minority of people, this sense of limitless kinship is particularly as strong. For example, while many turn a blind eye, some individual risk their lives to receive gesture during the Holocaust. In the interview conducted by Krishna Leonik Menlo for her book, The Heart of Altruism, many of the individuals described a sense of common humanity belonging to one human family. Those who did not offer help were less likely to pass the feeling of expanded kinship. In the recent article published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, psychologist Babe and Derek Blown developed a new scale for measuring individual differences in this realm. The scale involves a series of questions accessing the degree to be Someone identify with all who wants everywhere. Identify include things like feeling loved toward, feeling similar to, and believing in, independent of how much they identify. Then examine how a score on this major related to various personality traits and behaviors. Here are four highlights from the findings. I know that human feelings and consider, considers love to be the essence of human nature. Argument open up a broad horizon of possible interpretation regarding the meaning of being human. Contemporary philosophical anthropology takes its point of departure from two opposing conceptions that attributed to that of plain cell with a skeletal and plain cell. The anthropological discourse takes into account the challenges emerging from the science as well as the from the humanity. It focuses on human feelings and considers the love to be a sense of the nature of man. It defines the logic of love as different from the logic of pure reasons. Today we can see a new significance So much so that we openly speak about emotional turn and under the pressure of the migrant flows involving Europe about the consequent increasing interest in themes concern, concerning intellect, intercultural and interreligious dialogue. This process has in turn increased the interest for empathy questions and alternative phenomenology. So scientific research on emotions has increased significant over the past two decades. The color wheel theory of love defined three primarily, three secondly, and nine tertiary love style, describing them in terms of the traditional color wheel. The triangular theory of love suggests intimacy, passions, and commitments are core components of love. It has additional religious or spiritual meaning. The diversity of usage and meaning combined with the complexity of the feeling involved make love unusually difficult to consensually define compared to other emotional estates. Thank you so much. Aju, Amin, Amin. Yeah, thank you very much, dear Tinku. <laughs> thank good you. That you say about emotions and uh, everything. <laughs> yeah, it's good. As our soul <laughs> is the, the source of intellect, emotions and will. So this is, as you said in previous research, that our mind is just 2% physical. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There is Nazir from Bangladesh. Nazir, could you say a few words about your vision for Global Peace by 2027? Maybe a prayer in your language. <laughs> Nazir, could you speak? Seems like you have a poor internet. Uh, yes, hello. Greetings, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. It, yes. It's audible. It's all. 
Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Maybe you find so oh. where the internet is better. <laughs> oh, sorry, it was, uh, and uh, I'm very pleased to be in W1. Uh, great time to work as founder of Flow and uh, and Goal 13. And at the same time, I'm also working with uh, other humanitarian activities. So, uh, always uh, I love to engage with uh, that kind of activities who are working for first wing global peace and uh, sustainable security and uh, national and the global platform. So, <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, I'm this is very good. <laughs> this is our goal too. Yeah, you know? yeah. This is our goal too yeah, to yeah. unite the people and organization to for ultimate global peace by, by 2027. Yeah, uh, we have yeah. here the uh, global prey uh, chain meeting. We meet every day at seven o'clock. Uh, this time I don't know what is in Bangladesh, but uh, anyhow, <laughs> you are welcome always. Uh, please yeah. find good internet. And we don't uh, um, just pray, you know, to mobilize heavenly world, but uh, we invite scientists like Tinku. He say every day different research about peace and health, peace and love, peace and everything. And today we pray um, uh, for peace and the people that suffer it, you know, like for people in the, uh, Turkey, um, Syria, um, uh, and the Eastern Europe, and also in um, um, South Africa and Brazil, uh, there was a flood. So um, we pray and also we invite scientists, politicians, everybody to say their, their visions and plans and uh, everything about research and uh, interfaith for, pray for peace 2027 as we unite people and organization and one uh, good mind for peace. <laughs> because uh, like, yeah. uh, because, because, we are doing the uh, same thing overall. Doing same thing, we are uh, working for the sustainable development for national global platform. So climate is also the burning issue, and though this is so, what one of these the human activities, a lot of people and a lot of things are in the climate change. So we the same thing that might be help for the sustainable. Yes, yeah, that's good. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's cooperate. And uh, now I uh, want also yeah, to yeah. speak. Uh, please uh, join my prayer too. Uh, I will pray and then uh, we can have a short discussion. <laughs> uh, as we have a few more minutes to discuss. Um, usually we do just 30 minutes meeting, so <laughs> it's good. And uh, also everybody, all, as we pray for all 8 billion plus people on the earth, you know, everybody is welcome to say their vision and uh, how we could build peace together. And Everybody's welcome. <laughs> so please join my prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Parents, we are so happy to meet you alive here. I pray for um, uh, our brothers and sisters uh, who joined this uh, meeting, uh, those online and those offline. I pray for Amos and Gabon and uh, Heavenly Africa, Tinku and in India, um, uh, for their families and also for uh, Nazir uh, in uh, Bangladesh. Uh, dear Heavenly Parents, uh, you unite us at, as this uh, uh, great meeting. Uh, we are not so many, but uh, we pray with our all heart. Uh, please lead us further. Please lead us to unite more uh, people and organizations as we are Global Peace by 2027. This is your wish. This is your goal for humanity. And also all our ancestors prepare these uh, days to build this peace because everything is ready. Technology, uh, development, everything just we're supposed to get rid of sin and not fight anymore and just build peace because fight as we see bring only calamities and wars. Uh, dear Heavenly Parents, uh, uh, we pray for all our brothers and sisters, 8 billion plus people on the, all countries, from the simple people to president, to be enlightened by you. And um, in this uh, golden time to receive the and coming, and this uh, great uh, age as we are living in the Heavenly Kingdom already 11 year to expand in all corner of the world. Uh, Heavenly Parents, uh, we are really thankful to you that you lead us as we understand that uh, uh, you lead the world 95 percent of the world affairs uh, because uh, you said in the bible that uh, uh, you know how many hairs we have in the head so um, uh, you know everything about us and all of this energy is going by you principle by you true love and uh, we want to 
fulfill our five percent of responsibility to unite with God, our parents, and finish um, building the kingdom and every corner of the world by 2027. This is great task for all humanity. And um, let's unite. Let's inspire presidents. Let's inspire uh, um, prime ministers, kings, and uh, simple people to uh, build this uh, ultimate global peace by 2027. This is very important, heavenly parents. So also we pray for our ancestors for the liberation and the uh, spiritual world as um, now is going the ancestor liberation seminars and spiritual world and the billions of spirits already are liberated. We pray for them because our ancestors uh, uh, do very much sacrifice for our development. Therefore we are developed because our ancestors was working very hard. Uh, we pray for the people that suffered today topic uh, um the theme for the our meeting is we pray for for peace and the uh, urgent peace in eastern europe and peace by 2027 and the uh, global peace ultimate peace and global disarmament and we also we pray for people that are suffering for the families in the um uh, in, in the turkey and syria and the middle east uh, they was uh, suffered uh, by earthquake and also for people in brazil and uh, um, uh, in South Africa, they suffered by flood. And uh, also we pray for all other people who are suffering in, in the Eastern Europe by war and others. Heavenly Parent, please receive this uh, uh, day, 23rd of February, 2023, as a pure offering. And uh, we want to do much more tomorrow. So please lead us uh, tomorrow and see how we could do it much better um, one more day toward this global uh, peace, uh, this victory that uh, we want to pass to all our future generations, a victory of true love. I, I bring this report and my name is Nikolai Kirpala, Center Plus Family. Adieu, amen, amen, amen. Yeah, thank you very much, brothers. Uh, so good to hear from you. Uh, uh, Nazir, you say you want to say something? Additionally, thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, let's meet tomorrow. Maybe you'll have better internet because we couldn't hear you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but so nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, yes, pray, sure. nice to meet you all. Pray for you. Uh, yeah. And uh, okay. you, you know, if you uh, if you have an invitation for WhatsApp or other chat, please say all send all of the information to my and let's see how we could cooperate more. Okay, please contact me there and chat. <laughs> Okay. okay, thank you. Pray for you. Stay happy, healthy. Nice to see you. Good. <laughs> bye bye. Oh. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. Yes, yeah. bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Amos. Bye bye, Tinku. Bye bye, Nazir.